The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number 19. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on April 8, 1974, in Bombay, India. Translation. One is understood to be in full knowledge whose every act is devoid of desire for sense gratification. He is said by sages to be a worker whose fruit of action is burned up by the fire of perfect knowledge. <coughs> Burjita Gyanagni Dabhakarman Tamahu Panditam Buddha <coughs> Pandit Pandit means one who knows. Generally in India the learned Brahmins are called Panditji. Brahmins Oh, honorable, I would say, title is Pandit, and Vaishya's honorable title, Sedji. Panditji, Sedji. Even the Sudras, they are given some honor. Chaudhari, this is Indian system. Everyone is given some honor. Uh, Especially in Upper India, the Brahmins, even at the present moment, their address as Panditji, and the Kshatriyas, their address as Thakur Sahab, and Vaishyas, their address as Sedji, and the Sudras, their address as Chaudhuris. They are also given some <clears throat> This was the system of Indian life. Uh, Hindus, Mohammedans, they used to live very peacefully. It is not a fact that Mohammedans are always aggressive. Otherwise, how they could rule over India for eight hundred years. Uh, the Britishers could not rule even two hundred years. But they ruled over India eight hundred years. Only due to our engaged policy, the Mughal Empire dismantled. Anyway, <coughs> so, Jasya Sarvi Samarambha. <coughs> Samarambha means all attains. Jasya Sarvi Samarambha Kama Sankalpa Burjika. We want to do something to uh, enjoy the fruit. We do some business with a desire, the profit I shall enjoy. We live in family life. The desire is that everyone is trying to uh, satisfy his senses, especially in this age. Dampatte roti me vahi. In the Shastra, it is said, Dampata means husband and wife relationship will exist in this age of Kali only on the point of sex life. If there is disturbance in sex life, there is divorce. <coughs> so Kama is there. In every samarambha, in every attempt, the lust, lusty desire is there. In agreement, businessman doing some business, the agreement, everyone is thinking, each party is thinking how much favorable it has become 
in my side. That is, I want to cheat you, you want to cheat me. I am dictating this agreement should be like this. That means most favorable for my sense gratification. And you are dictating it should be like this. Uh, we are talking also on that spirit, my sense gratification. Krishna says something that is not wanted. My so-called teacher or acharya, there are different acharyas. No, there cannot be different acharyas. Acharya is one. As Krishna said in this chapter, evaṁ parampara prāptam imaṁ rāja sahiv sakālena jūvanaśta parampara. Acharya means one who is speaking exactly the same instruction as Krishna has given. That is Acharya. Not Acharya, ah, everyone becomes Acharya. In my opinion it is that. Who are you? If you have got any opinion, then you write your own book. Why do you touch Bhagavad Gita? Because Bhagavad Gita is very well known book all over the world. These rascals take advantage of Bhagavad Gita and interpret it in their own way. That is not Acharya. Acharya means, as Krishna says, that millions of years ago I spoke this Bhagavad Gita. Imam Virasati Jugam Pratavan Aham Abhayam. Vivashyan. I spoke to the sun god millions and millions of years ago. Vivashyan Manave Prahu Manu Khagave Bravi. Manu, if you simply calculate the age of Manu, it becomes millions and trillions of years. So before that, because Vivasan spoke to Manu, the Manu's age we cannot calculate. Before that. So this is the parampara system. Krishna said to the sun god, Vivasan, Vivasan exactly transferred the message to Manu. Manu transferred the message to Maharaji Khaku. Maharaji Khaku is the first king of the Sun dynasty, Surya Vamsa, Kshatriya, the forefather of the dynasty where Ram Chandra, Lord Ram Chandra appeared. So, the, that is Acharya. Ah. So we have to accept at the present moment, the Acharya, Krishna, is instructing Arjuna. So Arjuna is Acharya. One who is speaking exactly like Arjuna, he is Acharya. Not that one is speaking nonsense according to his own opinion. What is he? What is his value? Uh, we are all defective. We cannot give our opinion. Uh, that is the disagreement with our preaching and others. Uh, we are preaching that nobody can give opinion on the Bhagavad Gita if he does not come in the disciplic succession as it is spoken by Krishna. Evam parampara prapta. Otherwise, it is nostrils. Sakali in a jugarasta parampra. It is lost. <clears throat> so, the karma, this karma lasts. I am very large scholar. I can give my opinion on the Bhagavad Gita. I can uh, translate it in a different way. I can screw out some meaning by jugglery of words, eh? grammatical jugglery. Duping karane. Uh, Sankaracharya has, uh, therefore, declared. Nahi nahi rakshati do king karan. By the Sanskrit grammatical pratyaya, do pratyaya, king pratyaya. And he changed the meaning. 
that will not save you. Vajagovindam, 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 Muramati. Prapti sanni hitamarane nahi nahi dakshati. Do king krotani. These grammatical generally will not save you. Just Vajagovindam. Govindam adi purusam tamam bhajana. That is one. So, kamaraga vivrajita. Dasya sarva is samaya. We can act. We, we must always remember this acting has begun. Chatur bandhang maya sistam guna karma vibhava. First of all, the acting should begin according to guna and karma. Not that everything will be done by everyone. No. Suppose if I want to do some engineering work, that is not possible for me. I must take help of an engineer. But uh, if one wants to understand something about Bhagavad Gita, about the spiritual movement, you may consult me. Therefore, the society must be divided into four divisions. Chatupanamaya system, Kunakanma Vibhava. There must be a class of men, very intelligent, brahminical class. They should also work just like brahmana. The kshatriya, they should work just like kshatriya, because there will be some violence, khat. So, one who defends or protects from injury, that person also should be there in the society, kshatriya. <coughs> So on this basis, the society must be divided. But at the present moment, because everything is lost, now simply sudras are there. Therefore, the common medicine is prescribed. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kivala. Kalo Nasti, 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 Because the idea is, how to become Kamaraga Vivarjita. Kamaraga Vivarjita. <coughs> Kama Sankalva Vivarjita. Uh, uh, that is real knowledge. Uh, every word is lusty. He wants to satisfy his senses. So that Atmaprabhavam uh, Isharam. The example I have repeatedly given is that the uh, senses should be endless for the satisfaction of the Supreme. That is Kama Rāga Vivaj or Kama Sankalpa Vivaj. Uh, the senses should not be used for the satisfaction of senses. The senses should be used for the satisfaction of Krishna. That is Kama Sankalpa Vivaj. Jasya sarve savarambha. If man is engaged in devotional service, might be he is going to the municipal office, he is going to the income tax office, because when you have to remain within this material world, you have to abide by the laws of the state. We want to construct the temple, we must have to take sanction from the municipality or higher authorities, or if we want cement, we have to go to the authority. There are so many. But it must be kama saṅkalva parijita. Therefore it looks like one, that this Mr. Satyamsa's devotee is going to the uh, municipal officer, and other person is going also the municipal office, for getting sanction of a skyscraper building. Although they are apparently one, but no, this man who has gone for Krishna's sake, he is kama saṅkalva bhajita. He has not gone to the municipal office for sanction of the temple for his personal benefit. That is what. So we can do anything 
Of course, according to the plan, Chatupannang Maya system. Uh, do. Uh, you act as a Brahmin, you act as a Khatriya, you act as a Sudra, it doesn't matter. But it must be Kama Raga Vibhajita, Kama Sankalpa Vibhajita, not for personal interest. Uh, so without personal interest, who can act? Nobody will act. Now this communist country, the communist country, because they have killed personal interest, it is actually not developing. Not developing. I have seen it personally. Because, as it is said in English proverb, proprietorship turns sand into gold. If I, one has got the sense that I am the proprietor of this business, so he works very hard. And he turns sand into gold. There are many examples. A poor man starts, but because by his endeavor, now here in this country also, now that this endeavor is being decreased because they, they are afraid of the income tax. And they are thinking, we shall earn so much with hard labor, and the government from the income tax the department, they will take 98 percent. So why shall I work? Ah. So this is economic impetus. Ah. <coughs> there is one Mr. Marshall, economist, ah. Marshall's uh, economics, we read in our economic class. He said <coughs> that family affection <coughs> is the impetus for economic development. He said that. Uh, that's fact. Uh, therefore, according to basic system, <coughs> a boy is uh, married with a girl, and the husband and wife, as soon as, this is psychological, as soon as they become husband and wife, because the boy is searching after woman, and the girl is also searching after man, so they must be given. This is psychological. There is no question of so-called love. Uh, the, the formal system of marriage, the father and mother selects one boy and one girl, and by force they are married. Uh, but the economic position becomes very nice. Uh, family affection. Uh, that is also stated in the Srimad Bhagavata. Kayo mitha ri gayaganti mahu. These are very psychological. A married man becomes responsible because there is affection, family affection. And one who is not married is irresponsible because there is no family affection. That is the basic defect of the present society. There is no family affection. They are all irresponsible. Ah. So, this psychology is there. Lusty desire. That is the basic principle of material life. So, when one becomes free from this lusty desire, kama saṅkalpa bhajita, that is spiritual life. That is spiritual life. Very simple. The material life means the basic principle is lusty desire. Ah. Everyone is working so hard because the basic principle is lusty desire. Ah. I shall enjoy like this. My wife shall enjoy. My children shall enjoy. My grandchildren shall enjoy. My countrymen will enjoy. My society will enjoy. This is the basic principle of whole modern civilization. Expanding. The self is in, self is interest means my sense gratification. And expand more my family's sense gratification. Expand it more my society's, uh, my nation's, uh, this way. But this is material life. When one becomes this kama saṅkalva vivarjita, 
Oh, that is pretty terrible. That is pretty terrible. Uh, therefore, it is described here, Jasya Sarve Samarambha. Uh, <coughs> sama, any attempt. Uh, now this Krishna consciousness movement, there is attempt. We are also after land. We are also after building. We are also after money. We are also after business organization, either is sky, uh, what is that? Our spiritual sky, or this book department, Bhakti Vidanta Book Trust. Apparently it is business. We also want money. We also land. We want also building. We want also men. Then where is the difference between the ordinary person and Krishna consciousness movement? This is the difference. Kama Sankalva Bhajita. Everyone has sacrificed his life for Krishna. Personal, there is no personal interest. Uh, these boys, these girls are working day and night hard in my direction. But I don't pay them. Neither they expect any payment. Uh, otherwise this movement would not have uh, proceeded uh, so quickly. There is no question of payment. Kama Sankalva Bhaji. Everyone is engaged for satisfaction of Krishna. So that is explained here. Jasya Sarve. Actually we are using everything. We have got everything. Uh, we have got cars, we have got microphone, we have got typewriter, we have got dictaphone. What do you have now? Just like ordinary man, uh, we have got everything. We have got office, we have got lawyer, we have got engineer. What is that? Everything is there. But the point is kama sankalpa burjita. There is no lusty desire that I shall become happy, my wife shall become happy, or my children shall become happy, my nation shall become happy, my community shall become happy. Extend. This extension has no meaning. This is all kama sankalpa sahita. Ah. Suppose a person is working very hard for his nation and trying to drive away others, non-national. But that is not kama sankalpa bhajita. That is kama sankalpa sahita. So therefore that is material. Superficial it may be very philanthropic, sacrificing. Now suppose one man is stealing for his personal benefit. And the same stealing, if he steals for his family, is he not a thief? Either he steals for his family or for himself. Stealing is stealing. Ah. But nowadays it is going on that if you steal for greater selfish interest, it is not stealing. No. That greater, the greatest selfish interest is Krishna. Not a little sort of thing, business. You make it greater. That's all right. But where is the point where the greatness will be limited or there, there will end? That is Krishna. Bhaunam janmanam ante jnanavan maan prabhadvate vasudeva sarvamiti sa mahatma sudhudlava. So if we come to that point to understand <coughs> that we are self-interested, personally or extended personally, family-wise, community-wise, society-wise, nation-wise, uh, they are still polluted with the uh, material desires. But when the same extension comes to the Supreme Krishna, that is kama sankalpa bhaji. Otherwise, it is kama sankalpa sahita, with kama sankalpa. Therefore, bhakti means annavilasita sunnam, Rupa Goswami says. Annavilasa sunnam. Because these are all annavilasa. Except to serve Krishna, any desire 
is desire. That is material desire. And sometimes they want to negate this desire. Desire less. One of my students just went that they, somebody said that to become desireless is the highest perfection. So he replied that desireless, that is also desire. You are thinking that I shall become desireless. So this is also desire. So how you become desireless? Very nice argument. Our Chaitya Guru gave it. I was very much pleased. It is not possible to become desireless. This is foolishness. To give up desire. How you cannot give the desire? That is not right. If you give up desire, then you are a dead man. A stone has no desire. Do you like to uh, become a stone like? No. Desire cannot be less. That is not possible. Ah. Uh, sunnam. Avilasata sunnam onna. Annavilasita sunnam. Except Krishna. Uh, any other desire should be given up. That is unnavilas. Ovilasita sunnam. The Atharda, Rupa Goswami does not say. That is not possible. I must have desires because I am living entity. I am not a stone. I am not a wood. So this is a false philosophy to become desireless. That is not possible. Uh, to become desireless, other desire, other means except Krishna. Annavilasita sunnam jnana karmad anabritam uncovered, coverless, without any covering of jnana and karma. Jnana and karma. Because here it is says, jnana agni dagdha karmani. One he is engaged in the material activities when he is not enlightened by knowledge. Therefore they are called murhas. The karmis who are working for sense gratification day and night, they have been called as murhas. Murhas mean asses. The ass works very hard. The was and man's cloth loaded on the back of the ass to the greatest extent so that he cannot move. <clears throat> but what does he get in exchange? A morsel of grass, that's all. Uh, he knows it, that in exchange of none of the cloth belongs to me, still I am carrying so much burden, and in exchange I will get a few pieces of grass which is available everywhere. But he is thinking that this washer man will supply me ground. This is as, as mentality. Therefore they are called murha. All the karmis. In Bombay there are so many karmis working very, very hard. If you want to say, oh, no sir, no, I have no time. What are they doing? Working. And what are they eating? Four chapatis. That's all. Now, why four chapatis you are working so hard? Uh, no. For my next generation, or for my son, for my grandson, for my this, for my that. This is called murha. Therefore, it is said, jnanagni dhagdha karma. When one understands my knowledge, that I am uselessly working this. I am uselessly working. What is the benefit of this work? But he has no knowledge. He does not know that everything, what he is building in this life, after death everything will be taken away. Mrittu sarva harastaham. Krishna will take away. All your skyscraper building, bank balance, nice family, car and everything, all lost. With the loss of your body, everything is lost. Then you take another body. Then what is the guarantee? that you will come into this family again and enjoy your car and building and society and fancy. Where is the guarantee? So some or other try to understand Krishna, then you actually become Pandit 
لعنت هنگه لعجی سطر سوگ هنگه بریم 